Oh, hello, no ammo friends. You ready to kill some people? Looks like you're growing up nicely. Who are you, my creepy uncle? 
No, I'm the cool uncle who sneaks you beer and lets you drive his pickup. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, Gozu said it's been drinking straight crude. It's not just getting bigger, it's getting stronger. Oh, wonderful. How long will that keep happening? I can't tell. Yeah, you can tell me. I'm a ninja. Do you enjoy being an idiot? <sighs> we need to stop this thing. The sooner, the better.
return, but I do not see your booty. And you never will, you two-timing low-down, no good. Oh, you mean I didn't get the body back? Yeah, that's right. Amiona will be displeased. Oh no, what's she gonna do, frown me to death? Do you know where it is? Not exactly, but I know who has it. Zilla. Zilla? Oh, but this is awful. I must tell my mistress immediately. Yeah, don't let me keep you. Hello, Wang. Are you ready for the next phase in your journey? I'm ready to be done running errands. The path to growth often lies in the direction we least expect. Greet the unusual as an opportunity, not a burden. Hmm. I cannot see the exact location of Kamiko's father. Mamushi Heika left a powerful imprint on this item which is clouding my vision. But I can say with some certainty that you will find him in the general vicinity of the gates. Yeah, yeah, we've already been there. I didn't see any sign of him. The universe places the unexpected in our path to show us its secrets. Perhaps he has recently gone there. Or perhaps you did not know what to look for. In any event, I am certain he is there now. Well, what should I cut off him? Please say his cock, his cock, his cock, his cock. Please, please, please. Any body part will do. Yes! But the hand is usually easiest. Oh, fuck. But you should go now to intercept him in case he is on the move. You excited? Finally gonna meet your old man? Yeah, and help chop him up. Should be a real sweet scene. Shit. Remind me to never impregnate your mom and then ignore you your whole life. I don't think you're my mother's type. What, not rich enough? From what I can gather, she would have killed you before you could say, how'd you get your jeans so shiny? Sounds like my kind of lady. <sighs> and for the thousandth time today, I wish your soul had a shower in it.
up together, man. I think I recognize this area. Yeah, this is definitely looking familiar. Oh shit. It's Mezu again. Get rid of him.
no way. To what do I owe this... pleasure? Oh, I didn't come to see you, you washed up pile of demon crap. I'm looking for the Aquas' big boss, the Oyabu. The Oyabu? Oh, do you really think he'd hang around here with ruffians such as myself? So you know him? Oh, he's quite a fascinating character. What will you do once you've found him? Chop a few pieces off him. I only need one, but with this guy, let's just say it's personal. Oh dear. I don't think he'll stand for that. Everyone has a breaking point. Mamushi Heika certainly did. Nonsense! She would never betray me! Betray him? So, you're... No. It's not possible. And there is no point in secrecy any longer. My goodwill attempts have been terminally undermined by my misbegotten offspring. What? What does a god want with a Yakuza boss anyway? I needed something, she needed something. Oh, I remember now. You provided the muscle to keep her in power, and she let you violate her daughter. Cute. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Oh no, I get it. Power for sex. All this arrangement in the book. And hey, you even got a kid out of the bargain. She is no concern of yours. Well, I hate to break this to you, but Daddy's little girl is all grown up. And she's not your biggest fan. The feelings of the half-breed are of no consequence to me. I'll kill him. I'll kill him dead. When you coming back, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll have a good time then. Dad, you know we'll have a good time then. Ah, oh, gets me every time. I'm glad you amuse yourself, sir. The rest of the world laughs at you. Why shouldn't you join in? I'll take laughing stock over rapist any day. It was a business arrangement! You keep digging, buddy. There's a pony down there somewhere. If you've thrown in your lot with my sister, there's nothing I can do for you. She is as duplicitous as she is asinine. Oh, and I'm terribly sorry, but I can't spare any body parts today, Lo Wang. But be sure to come see me after my dear sister hangs you out to dry. I do so enjoy a good laugh. I'll be in Mamushi Heika's old office above the laundry. Whew, there goes the neighborhood. Oh, and just so you know, I do take starch in my shirts, but not too much. Makes me itchy. Have a nice day, dick face. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, like why Mamushi Heka sent us on that bullshit errand where we accidentally met him. And why I felt like a freak my whole life. Well, I'm glad it was edifying for you, Dr. Fascinating. Remind me not to wrench you space in my head again. I've had enough of your screwed up family. Oh, and I suppose your family was better? I've been on my own since I was five years old. I barely remember them. I've spent three years with mine and I can't forget a moment. Wait a second, you... I meant... 23? No, wait, that's impossible. The collision was five years ago, and Mezu couldn't have met your mom before. Oh my god. Seriously? You're three years old. I have a three-year-old running around inside my head. A three-year-old half-demon. Oh, how reassuring. Let's go see your auntie. Maybe she'll be able to add some kind of toxic cherry to this shit Sunday. My bravest warrior, you have returned to me. Could she be a little more smarmy? Shut up. I'm afraid I don't have good news. Frustration is just the universe tickling your belly. I didn't get the hand. You are alive, though. Where there is breath, there is hope. Where there is breath, there are bullshit feel-good platitudes. Have I done something to anger you? No more than anyone else who almost gets me killed. Oh, 
The Oyabun gave you trouble, then? Only insofar as he's an immortal demon lord. The Oyabun is Mezu. So it is. Wait. You knew? That two-faced, conniving little... It was obvious from the way he conducted his affairs. Let's just say it had my brother's... aroma. So why did you... Oh, you were trying to kill me! Figures. Oh no, I never meant to harm you, my noble champion. Well, you got a funny way of showing it. I was, however, trying to kill her. Her? Your little hitchhiker. Kamiko. Indeed. And me dying in the process was... A regrettable side effect. I feel absolutely dreadful about it. Oh, you poor thing. But it seems I underestimated you. You chose the path of non-violence. <laughs> As did your brother. No matter. I had hoped to keep my conscience clean on this, but... Desperate times call for violent deaths. Gozu, dear. Yes, mistress. Can you please kill this man for me? Yes, mistress. Oh, there's a good boy. Goodbye, Lo Wang. Do try to stay dead this time. Hey! Wait! I was... Just a heads up. When I get out of here, I'm planning on destroying your entire family. I will hold your coat. Friends, you ready to kill some fuck faces? What the hell is this? It's sealed with some kind of chi power. So, unseal it. What do you think I am? Some kind of genie? Oh, I'm sorry. You're just the daughter of an immortal being from another realm. Didn't mean to overestimate you. I might be able to disrupt it, but I'd need a way to focus. Ever try a coffee enema? They're quite invigorating. Find me something to channel my chi through. I'll try. Should I also put the kettle on just in case? You know, your uncle wasn't too shabby with the chi magic. You think his sword could help? I don't see too many other options right now, do you? Hey, you don't think any part of his energy might still be in this thing, do you? Oh, you mean like maybe your old friend could magically but heartbreakingly speak to you from across the grave? You think? Wait, shh. What? Listen. What am I listening to? The sound of gullibility. Whoa. Something's happening with this sword. I know. I'm focusing my chi through it. Hold it out. Okay, there. You... Whoa! Thanks, old buddy. You and your niece make a pretty good team. Huh? Nothing. Weird. What? I thought when we got out of that room we'd be able to teleport, but I still can't feel the statues. It's like something's jamming me. Huh. <laughs> Could it be those two giant sparkly towers? Hmm. Maybe. I should probably destroy them. Just in case. <laughs> I love the smell of demon guts in the morning.
There we go. One tower rubbleized. Is that even a verb? It is now. That definitely changed the interference patterns. If you break the other one, I might be able to get us out of here. Destroying things is how I swage my crippling fear of impotence. That's awfully insightful of you. I just figured I'd get you. Those are my people. Everyone's somebody's people. It's their fault if they get in my way. I hate to do it, but we need to go see your pop. There has to be another way. I don't like dealing with him any more than you do. Smith is dead, Gozu hates me, and Amiono is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You know anyone else that can put your soul back in your body? He'll find a way to make it about him. You guys can have your paper moon moment on your own time, okay? I've got a broken shell of a life to get back to.
Mesu, you may be a supernatural pervert, but you had your sister's number. She tried to kill you? What a surprise. Not the first woman to put a hit out on me. And you've come crawling back to ask my forgiveness? Not exactly. More like a favor. Why would I do anything for you? I think we can help each other out. Go on. I have information about Kamiko. I have seen her. In the forest, drinking from the dark pools. Corrupted beyond all recognition. And why did you father her in the first place? The gates must be resealed. I used Amiona before, but she has proven infirm. Yeah, try psychotic. I am made of sterner stuff. I wanted the seal to endure this time, so I planned to fashion it from something which sprang from me instead. It was all for naught, though. Kamiko is beyond hope. Tell him. Really? Do it. Tell him I'm here. You know, that's just her body. Her soul is intact. What? Where is she? Right here. Your mouth was making those nonsensical sounds again. Can you do something about that? She's in my head, dickwad. What? I don't think... Ah, ingenious. I'm impressed. Better yet, I have a serum that will reverse the damage to her body. If we can administer it, can you put her soul back? Mr. Wang, I believe we have an understanding. And hello! Kamiko, it's good to finally meet you. Even if it is through this lesser creature. Fuck you very much, you miserable piece of shit! I oughta... Yeah, she's very touched. Let's get to work. across the breath of Onishima. Kamiko's body will be found. In the meantime, there is something I need you to do. Oh, now we're favor buddies. Did I miss something? This benefits you as much as me. It simply won't do if we save the universe minutes after my sister destroys it. You have a point. Have you noticed all the crude in the forest? It's been around since the collision. Not at this volume. In the past few weeks, Amiona's priests have been conjuring it everywhere they can. I think they are trying to destabilize the gates. Maybe someone just did a shitty job sealing the gates. The seal would have held if you hadn't meddled in affairs beyond your station. Hey, it was in the service of kicking your ass. I think history will forgive me. We'll have to see about that. Amiona's high priest is out in the forest, spawning ooze. Uh, is that a euphemism? Go and stop him, you idiot!
I just wanted to say I really appreciate everything you're doing. Wow. Whoa. Are you? You're thanking me. Shut up. You know how I feel about the way you conduct yourself, but that doesn't mean you haven't done a lot for me. Ah, well, that's very sweet. There is one thing I wanted to bring up, though. What I do now? When you and Mezu were talking about putting me back in my body, he mentioned using my soul to reseal the gate. Yes, he did. Well, did it sound to you like using meant using up? You know, I figured you're his daughter, so he couldn't be thinking. But it's Mezu, so... Yeah, I wouldn't put something like that past him. I have a feeling I might need your help. Can I count on you? Sure thing. Once we get your soul back in your body, we'll kick his ass and get out of there. I appreciate it. I mean, shit. I've come this far. What's one more clash with an immortal being from another dimension? 